Carlson said to the mate, of course, Shivan Company had been in touch with the mate on the ship, and he didn't know what to do. He was in a bit of a panic. And I said, well, look, the ball's in your court. You do what you think best. Well, of course, the Sheriff Carlton advised him to follow in further into the coast a bit and come down towards Holcomb and beach the ship. Well, we knew that would be all right, but this, the mate thought she would, as soon as she hit the bottom, she'd roll over, but she wouldn't because it's too shallow water. But that would have been the good job if he'd have done that. So what happened was he got in about five or six mile off, showing it with the Sharing rifle coming in. And the Eastley Gale, tied all going that way, he dropped his anchor, which was a stupid thing to do because he's already down by the head. So whenever she come tight on the anchor cables, wind and things, she kept going down and down. And I was involved in Wellesley but because we had to launch to get the, the dead skipper to bring him ashore. When we arrived, <coughs> Sheringham boat was just alongside, then ready to take four other crew off. And Tommy got up Wells Harbour, they said, they, they said, we've had taken the crew off, can you come down and escort us into Wells Harbour? Well, by the time they got off, the ship went down. An incident like that, you see, that's advice, local advice, I think that ship would have been all right. Well, you see, he's lost already, lost his skipper, <coughs> and uh, then he lost his ship. But we used to see him every day, these collies going past here, you know, loaded up at Wandsworth, there's the Clapham, the, uh, I can't think of the names now, but it's all on the South London boroughs, you know, and they've drawn with the uh, Eastern Gas Board, South Eastern Gas Board, when they used to have all the coal brought to Battersea Fire Station, you know. That was another incident we was on. That's a pity Tony couldn't have been there because he, I didn't go on that trip, a ship called the Zor. It was a timber ship coming from a North German port bound for Immingham. And they had bad weather suddenly, guy. then the wind deteriorated. This was about <coughs> 20 mile off. Apparently she got a bad list. Of course, Wellesley had to launch as well as Sheringham. And when I got there, all this timber was coming away from uh, my uncle. <coughs> Managed to get alongside, took the crew, took the crew off, and brought them back to Wells. Eventually, Sheringham uh, stood by and got the other crew off, the skipper and the mate. And then apparently, that had to be reported, the Navy had to blow her up because she was dangerous to navigation. And all that timber come ashore all the way along this coast about a month afterwards. <laughs> Never seen so much timber on the beach. <laughs> Talk about whiskey galore. Did you ever see that film? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's another one. Yeah, another one I was on. And been to several other little uh, launches, you know, small catamarans. And, but you see, today, there seem to be a lot more of these surfboards about, don't they? <clears throat> you know? And they don't carry any wireless at all, do they? Silly, because they, they go off here, enjoying it going all the way out in the, with the wind. When they decide they've got to come back again, then they get in the muddle. 